Hey guys, I'm Christy from ChristyWanders.com and I have some recommendations for if you're planning on heading up from Los Angeles up to Mammoth Lakes, California. So to continue our sibling tradition, um, my two brothers and I, we took a four hour road trip from LA to Mammoth Lakes and here are some of the top recommendations based on what we were able to check out and I'll let you know which ones are free and not free. So heading up, we our first stop was Red Rock Canyon State Park. And make sure to stop at this park if you wanna see a cool rock formation wall that has um, a gradient of shades varying from red, brown, to white. We loved exploring this area as it gave us a chance to stretch our legs. And it's off of Highway 14. And what's cool about this location is when you want a little pit stop, there's picnic tables, there's also a campground there, and a restroom, and even hiking trails, but we didn't have time to do any of the hiking trails, so we just did like the little walk from the car up to the rocks, and then took our photos and videos. The next stop on our trip was Lone Pine, and we stopped at the Museum of Western Film History. The cool thing about this location was, as a fan of the movie Tremors starring Kevin Bacon, they had an exhibit in there that had the monster, the graboid, the pretty much the huge worm that comes up underground and like eats people and animals and cars. It was so cool to see that because there were, um, they had like a prop model set, they had old school cameras, they had the memorabilia bit that the, the cast was wearing, like the Atlanta Hawks hat, and they even had the jeans jacket. It was so cool seeing that. They also had Quentin Tarantino's chair from Django Unchained. They had a bunch of props, old school cameras I mentioned, and like vintage cars were in there. So that's a cool place to check out. We paid a little donation fee to walk around the museum, but it was pretty cool. I think it was like eight bucks per person. Um, and then they also show movies there at noon, but we didn't have time. So we just like walked around, checked out the gift shop, the, tr the um, Tremors location, the exhibit was cool. So we checked that out. Near Lone Pine, heading towards Bishop, is a natural historic site um, called Manzanar. Manzanar is a Japanese American internment camp. And this was an emotional site because we were able to walk through the little barracks and the area where Japanese Americans were rounded up and held against their will after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. So during this time, the American government detained Japanese American citizens in 1942, fearing that there were spies and saboteurs amongst the population. So, I mean, I get it, like Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor was bombed and there were Japanese Americans, but they targeted them and then held them there for like two to three years. So it was kind of messed up seeing where American citizens who were business owners, homeowners, they even owned farms, they were just rounded up and then thrown into that camp and then held against their will. And we were able to see where they ate at the mess hall. We were able to see what the women's like restroom area looked like no walls for privacy, toilets just lined up next to each other, pretty much like prison. So check that out, that was free to visit. And just outside of Manzanar, towards Bishop, California, is a must-stop restaurant called Copper Top Barbecue. That place was so good, and we ended up getting like a sampler platter. It came with, um, chicken sausage, it had a rack of ribs, it had um, tri-tip, it was pretty good. When you're in Bishop, California, you should definitely explore the downtown area. Make sure to stop at the visitor center before you decide to head out and visit any of the sites I'm listing. Um, some of the places that we wanted to visit, we made sure we checked with Anna at the visitor center. She was able to tell us whether things were open or closed or not safe to visit. One of the things that once wasn't safe that we learned was trying to visit Bodie. Tried to go to Bodie, but we couldn't because the road is closed. We were rerouted by Google to take 
uh, Coyote Springs Road, which is a dirt road, which led us to snow covered. We the road pretty much disappeared because it was covered with snow. And when we told Anna we tried to make an attempt to go to Bodie, she was like, "No way! Are you guys crazy? Cars get stuck out here all the time, and..." It takes months for cars to even get retrieved because it's such a small town. So we were like, oh, dumb move. We tried to go to Bodie. So while you're in Bishop, make sure to stop by the bakery, Schatz Bakery. We had bacon, chili, cheese breadsticks. I picked up an assortment of mini croissants filled with cheese and there was also filled with cheese and fruit. And then there was chocolate croissants in there. It was so good. For coffee and tea, we went to the Looney Bean and that place had delicious coffee lattes and chai lattes. We briefly sat outside on the picnic tables just for a little bit. Next to the visitor center is a nice park complete with a swimming pool, a duck pond, tennis courts, a skateboarding park. This place was cool. There was even a small dog park on site. Um, by the duck pond, I swear to God, these ducks knew what the brown bag from the bakery was for because they were following us all around. I think people feed them because the bakery's across the street. So we were able to just go carry our stuff, go to the park and then walk around and the ducks would not stop following us. We were like, are these ducks trained? <laughs> for delicious beef jerky, make sure to check out Mahogany Smoked Meats. We stopped there on our way to some of the Mammoth Lakes and we ended up spending 18 bucks on some beef jerky. I tasted a variety and I liked the Western jerky the best. So that's what we ended up getting. And since I had my two brothers with me, I was like, yeah, dude, just pack it up and keep giving us more. Cause he, the guy at the counter, he gave us like a small amount. And I was like, I got my two big brothers with me. So we need more, but 18 bucks. And it lasted us for multiple days. For lunch, we ate at Las Palmas Mexican food. The portions and the prices were awesome here. Like I had the combination plate and it came with an enchilada, a tamale with rice and beans on the side. And it was probably like 10 bucks, I wanna say. A lot of things close earlier than in, in Los Angeles. So make sure to always check the times that things are closing. If you do want a, a nice sit down dinner location, check out Whiskey Creek, which also has a gift shop inside. I had the Parmesan crusted chicken with garlic mashed potatoes, and it also came with like a delicious carrot puree. It tasted a little sweet. That one was really good. And my brothers, they had fettuccine alfredo with chicken. And then Steven had, um, what did he have? Like a pesto pasta. And then my brothers, they ended their dinner with creme brulee, but I was way too stuffed. Another must-see stop in Bishop is Laws Railroad and Historic Site. This place was awesome. It's a living 11-acre time capsule with multiple exhibits that you can actually walk into. It was like super interactive. We saw a medical building complete with old surgical tools, there was a vintage pharmacy inside, and an, even an optometry office. So you could see like old glasses that were super circular. And within the actual medical building, it looked like, and we swear to God, it looked like a real human skull in there, but who knows? You have to check it out for yourself. We also saw some classic wagons dating back to the 1800s. I walked into an old train and I was able to see what it looked like inside. So here's a video of that. I also saw an old hearse that was horse drawn and it looked so gothic and cool. We also got to walk into an old home as well as a classic saloon. The old home seemed like super small, but it had like the essentials, a heater, a stove. Um, it had like a little kitchen area. It seemed like minimalist to me. 
in Los Angeles, that would be like a multi-million dollar home. Moving away from Bishop towards Mammoth, we saw so many cool spots. The first spot was the Hot Creek Geological Site. So this place, it smelled like hard boiled eggs. And that's due to probably the sulfur. The main highlights were the bubbling water in the creek and then the steam coming out from under the volcanic rocks. The views here were awesome because there were snow-capped Sierra Mountains in the background. To get to this Hot Creek Geological Site, beware that there's a stretch of road, or I should say a stretch of dirt road, and it was super rocky for our SUV that we rented, and it was just like rocky, but yeah, you're gonna, your car's gonna get dusty, just beware. The next stop for us was Mono Lake, and Mono Lake has three times the salinity of the ocean. When we got there, it was super windy, and we ran into a family there, and they were so cold, the two children were complaining to their dad. They're like, Dad, why did you take us here? I can't feel my hands and my face. I was like, kids, I feel you, I exactly. But we, we made our stop there, it was cool. We took pictures, we saw the blue-green water, which was awesome. The winds caused white caps on the lake, so that was kind of crazy, it looked like an ocean. The next stop for us was Convict Lake. Convict Lake was my favorite lake out of all of them. We visited June Lake, Twin Lakes, Mono Lake. Convict Lake to me was my favorite because pretty much the size of it and then how it looked. The snow was surrounding the entire lake. It just looked amazing. There was a picnic table that we discovered right next to the water. It was awesome. The next lake we visited was June Lake. June Lake was more of Convict Lake, but on steroids. That place was cool, the town was a little bigger, and we weren't able to get as close as we wanted to the water because it was snowed in. The campgrounds were closed and we couldn't get as far as we wanted to. There was a man there and he was shoveling snow so that his car could get through. I was like, poor dude, he's stuck out here. So we didn't stay too long because we didn't want to get snowed in, but pretty much the campgrounds were closed at June Lake and at Convict Lake. The next lake that we tried to go to was Twin Lakes. And Twin Lakes, it was fine getting up there at the beginning. Towards actually parking and getting in front of the lake, we parked and we were getting hit in the face by snow pellets. And I tried to get out. I wanted to take pictures of like the sign um, that you could the signs about nature and about the lake. I was like, where's the lake? That thing was frozen solid and the snow was so painful hitting us. So my brother Sean was like, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> so we weren't there long. We just like walked around, tried to deal with it, but it was just too extreme for us. We're like city slickers. So I was like, get me out of here. <laughs> After Twin Lakes, we were hungry. So we ended up at the village at Mammoth, which was cool. We ate at a place called Toomey's and I had the fish and chips. Sean, my brother, had the buffalo meatloaf and um, Stephen had the hot wings or buffalo wings with fries. Unfortunately, the gondolas were closed so we couldn't go up to the higher levels, but it was cool either way. We were able to walk around, check out like people with their snowboarding gear and their snow gear or skiing gear. So it was cool, it was fine. Um, we stepped in a puddle or a slushy puddle and I was so paranoid my shoes were gonna get wet. So next time, if you're ever going to the snow, don't trust that your um, hiking shoes are waterproof. <laughs> Cause I found out almost the hard way when my, I was so scared my socks were wet. But the village at Mammoth, definitely check that out if you haven't been, it's cool. All right, so those are my top recommendations for what to check out if you ever plan to visit Bishop, California and the Mammoth Lakes area. So thanks for listening to me talk and make sure to subscribe because I'm trying to grow my subscribers on here. I only have like 16 followers. Um, all right, thanks. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.